this is Cassie from Minds in Bloom, and you may have noticed that TPT Digital Activities has got a facelift and now it is Easel by TPT. So it's the same product that you've probably already used, only better. It looks better, it's easier to use, there's more tools available to you than there were before, and so I wanted to take a few minutes to show you the ins and outs of Easel. So there are several different ways that you can find Easel activities. If you want your activities that you've already started, you can click the link that's right on the home page, or you can go into your account and choose my easel activities. If you want to search for a new easel activity, you could just use the search bar and then click here to filter so that it only shows you the easel activities. So let's say that you found an activity that you want to use. You can tell it's an easel activity by looking for this label right here. Also, if you've purchased this product in the past, you'll see this green button right here that says open an easel. So let's say you got this product and you wanna assign it to your students. So start by clicking open an easel. It's going to take you to my activities list. This is the same list that you can access right here. It's all of the different activities that you've opened up and prepared to share with your students. So if you decide you don't wanna do it, you can click the three dots to delete it. But if you're ready to get it ready to assign, then just open it by clicking on the name of the activity right there. So you'll notice when you open it up that you have all of your pages and you can edit those pages so that students don't have access to it all in one long assignment. So just click edit pages. You're actually gonna be clicking things to remove them. So let's say you don't wanna do you only want to do the first two. So I'm just going to click remove and now we're down to the two and then just click save changes. Now you'll see that we only have the two pages that we want the students to do. We are on the prepare tab right now and that means you can add text boxes, you can add plain text for directions, you can use highlighters to highlight directions, however you'd like to enhance or modify this before you give it to your students. Once you have it all ready, then you can click on the preview tab to see what your students will see. And you can work it like a student would work it as well. So this activity doesn't have any text boxes built in, but your students can just add the text boxes right whenever they get ready to complete the activity. So that's not a problem. So when you're done with enhancements, you can click on the preview tab and you can see it exactly like your students will see it. So once everything looks right and you're ready to assign it, then you would just click on the Assign and Review tab. So you'll see right up here that you have a code for this assignment. The first one's automatically created and you can go ahead and assign it by clicking this Assign button. So once I assign it, I can either click right here to link to my Google Classroom and share it that way, or I can just generate a link and then I would take that link and put it in any learning management system that you might be using. So I'm gonna click through Google Classroom and it's just going to open up and ask me what class to share with. So there's math practice. I'm going to create an assignment and this all feels familiar with what you would typically do inside of Google Classroom. So um, just give it a title and do all the stuff right here and then just click assign. So now it's been assigned to your students. If you have a second class, maybe a different block, then you would create a new code and repeat the process for your second class. So now I'm gonna go in as a student. So right here is a student and let's go ahead and refresh that and see snowman division has been posted to the student's stream. So when they open it, they'll see this. They'll complete the activity by opening it up here. They'll sign in with their email address and then they'll just press enter. And then they'll see the activity, they can use the tools to complete it, and when they're done, they'll turn it in. So I'm gonna click Turn In, and um, I'll go ahead and put one thing on here, just so you can see what it looks like when the students work. So I'll put a smiley face. Okay, and then click Turn In. Okay, yes, turn it in. So I'm gonna go back now to the teacher version so that you can see what it looks like once the students have turned it in. So let's go back to my activities and here's the assignment and I can see that I've had one submission.
To check that submission, just click right here. Okay, and I can see that Callie has turned it in. And then to look at it, I can click review right here. So it's going to show me her work. You can add your own notes or comments or even a grade or anything like that. And if you want the student to see that, you can always just click return it to student and then the student will get it back. So maybe they didn't complete it correctly or maybe you just want them to know their grade. So now it's back in the Google Classroom for the student to work on. So those are the basics of using easel activities through TPT. It's a great way to digitize some of the work that you might normally print and hand out to students. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at cassie at mindsandbloom.com.